Hi everyone, Magnus Thor from Team X Talkers here. Uh, we have been receiving a couple of questions regarding um, some hosting uh, issues with X Um So we published a uh, Visual Studio solution on the website. Uh, you will find it here. And uh, what we have is a Visual Studio solution containing a Windows service and a setup project as this is the way we recommend you to host your xsockets.net applications. Uh, so our recommendation is that you host uh, xsockets as a Windows service. So by just downloading the project files here, um, you're able to uh, create a Windows service. Let's first um, extract this uh, zip, file, zip file and uh, open the project. Uh, the project um, contains a setup project as well as a window service. Seems like this takes a while. Uh, so here it is. Um, we have, first of all we have a dependency to our Xsocket Core DLL, um, and you also have the necessary Xsocket Server plugins folder, which is necessary for uh, dropping your own plugins, etc. This one will be created as a subdirectory uh, to the service. Um, this can of course be, be changed using the config files. Um, the config files uh, that we are uh, includes um, starts the server on 4502 and it starts the server on the IP address, uh, the localhost um, address. Uh, these uh, three things you have to change of course so it matches your your your, your current environment um, but it will run on localhost uh, etc uh, so let's uh, build a solution we can also say that we have to rebuild a installation package so by just uh, right doing a right click on the xsockets hosting windows service installer you will get uh, prompted with the installation or uninstall in this case i will do an installation um, you will get uh, get prompted a uh, uh, location where to install and I can install Xsockets now in the temp folder on my, on my machine and I will do this for everyone uh, do next and confirm the installation uh, this may take a minute or two or at least a couple of seconds yes, uh, let us grant access and do close uh, what we now have is a installation of xsockets.net as a service um, we, you will find the uh, xsockets server plugin uh, folder inside the temp folder which is the root of our installation you will also have the configuration files that you can uh, choose to uh, to edit uh, later on uh, just to, to, to change the settings of your server so let us stop uh, sorry um, let us just minimize this window and um, have a look on the services on your machine and you will find the Xsocket service um, here and you can do a start on the Xsocket server as you see the server is now running uh, and you can do um, uh, communications to the server um, so that's pretty much the thing um, if you have any problems, uh, just send us an email or um, uh, a tweet. Uh, have a nice day and good luck.